Hello and welcome back everyone to anubavtrainings.com. In this series of videos, we are learning about SAP's latest generative AI capability, SAP Joule. In my last episode, we have talked about what is SAP Joule and what is that a generative AI capability help us to achieve. Using that, a developer can quickly generate the code and optimize code, even generate unit test cases for the for the scenarios and application and it assists developers to quickly build applications by far in this episode we have seen how to set up your free btp account and create a subscription for sap build code and then activate sap jewel to create the generative ai applications so now in the next episode today we are going to learn about data model prompts so what is data model? As you all know that in any application, traditionally or occasionally which we build, we always have the three layers of any application. The first layer of an application is the database layer. In the database layer, we will put our structures, our database tables and DDIC objects which are responsible for managing the data. On the above layer than that, we have the service layer. In the service layer, we are going to add services which are going to expose the data via REST protocol. Often these are O data services as that's a preferred protocol these days we use. On top of that, finally, we have the user interfaces, the UI UX, where we will build our user interfaces, what user can see on the UI. Ultimately, our user will interact with the UI and then the call will go to services and ultimately the data gets stored. Also with the service layer, we will write all our business logic. So when it comes to building a full stack application, it includes three important component, database, SRV and application. SAP Joul understands that pretty well. It also utilizes behind the scene the SAP's cloud application programming model to generate the applications for us. Having said that, let's talk about creating database models using SAP Joul. Now, any AI technology you work, for example, Chat GPT or Meet Journey Bot, you usually give input as a prompt. A prompt is a simple uh, text or a statement or set of statements given to the generative AI engine and the AI engine usually understand that this prompt is given in users own native languages for example the normal English German Spanish you can pass these prompts the gen AI engine understands the prompt and then in, in result of that it will do a task a task could be creating some logic or a code or a task could be creating an image or it could be creating some text output if you work about if you talk about models like chat gpt they are usually generative ai to generate texts for example if you use mid journey which is another type of gen ai then we can see that in the output we get images similarly when we use sap joule and pass a prompt it will then generate the code. The code will adapt to the concept related to SAP Cloud Application Programming Model. If you are new to SAP Cloud Application Programming Model, please consider subscribing our CAPM training at anubavtrainings.com where we detailed out in uh, will be detailed out how to build cloud native application with CAPM model on BTP. Having said that, let's go back to our SAP build code to quickly generate our data model. So what we want, we would want to generate a pizza delivery application. So I'm going to switch over back to SAP build code. And over here we have the SAP Joul, which is SAP's generative AI. So I will click on open guide. And now we will choose the option to create data model. I click on open Joul. And here is where I can pass the prompt now. 
so my application will include tables related to pizza management system usually you go to restaurant to enjoy your favorite pizzas it has a system or software system behind the scene which includes table related to storing customer data then we have customer orders and each order can have multiple order items and then of course we have the products which is nothing but in this case pizzas so i would like to now generate these four database tables in the system and for that i had created a prompt already so let me go and grab the prompt you can find this prompt also in the description of this youtube video and pass the prompt to sap jewel sap jewel is now thinking as it's a generative ai model it is now processing our text which we have passed as a prompt and in the output it is going to create the source code for generating database tables beautiful i click on accept and you will see that the data tables will get created so now we have a beautiful function of this low code no code environment where you can experience the storyboard in the storyboard you will be able to visualize and view the database tables and the corresponding services so you can see it's just opening up and in few seconds we will have our database tables which are ready and the good news is you can also see this generated code and then even modify the code if you not like it so you can go back to the explorer and under the db folder which is the database folder we can see a data model got created the data model contains customers pizzas orders and order item these are the information we have got here so now once the data model is created these are the, going to generate the actual data tables for us in the database so if you go to package json file for the generated code you can see it a dev dependency on sqlite which is a lightweight database where all the data is going to get generated including that we also have the hana db modules so if you want to create the database tables in cloud database which is hana cloud database for production version then you will go with the production configuration with sap hana database but for now it will use the sqlite database so once this is created we also got ya these services created also if you go to storyboard you can see for each database table it has also got ya the corresponding data services where we can see all our service endpoints to view the data if you want to see the generated code you can come back to the srv folder and there you can see services and it has got ya the path so usually the capm generates a path for the service as slash o data slash v4 slash sap slash something i don't like that path i would want to give my own customized path which is what it also creates including that it takes care of basic security that all our service endpoints are allowed to be accessible only if there is a there is a authenticated user yes and then all the entities are draft enabled which allows us to create update delete modify and manage draft on each of the entities perfect so our next step before we test to generate some test data test data is quite important from a developer standpoint of view because when a brand new application is created we would need a test data for the same so i will head over back to gen ai and now i choose the second option to generate sample data for us i click on open jewel and you can see there is a sample prompt i click on run and that will now generate test data for us so once the test data is generated you will be able to see the sample data editor to edit this test data so i choose that and you will see in a minute i will have all my tables but at the moment there is no data because jewel is still generating it jewel has generated the test data and proposing you is this data okay do you accept and i certainly accept it and you will see the test data is also getting generated so 
it is kind of assisting us as a developer to quickly do the repetitive tasks and also generating most of the code which we typically write of course you always have an opportunity to modify yeah modify the content so this is always an opportunity for us so now you can see that you're about to perform this n action which will overwrite your sample data would you accept yes i do accept and let it overwrite my sample data by the way this data is generated as a csv under the db data folder you can see it's created and once the deployment is done for the data we can click on open again and we can see the test data was created wow but can i also modify the test data a little bit is it possible and it's very much possible so what we can do is we can go back to jewel and we can further provide also other prompts so i go for edit and let me just give a another prompt to enhance my test data with a meaningful phone number of 10 digit long for every customer along with order number and seven digit order number with ord prefix and no fields will be empty and the total order value should be smaller than 10,000. I click on submit. And now it is thinking and of course going to propose me the generation of new test data on my entities. And every time you regenerate, it is going to give you different test data. So you always have an opportunity to regenerate. And you can see now it has got you the, the test data. Yes, I can also say, please include, also include test data for customer table. I click on submit. And of course, it is going to propose me the test data for all the database tables. Few moments later. And finally, I can see the test data was proposed and we can click on accept to overwrite my test data. And that's it. The test data is also created. So our last step is to go ahead and uh, test this app, test the services uh, along with the new test data and you can clearly see it has got you the order numbers with ORD prefix over here and all these test data got created accordingly. So our next step is to go ahead and test our application. So let's run our application and for that we can come back to the package JSON file and here we will perhaps have a script to start uh, the application. So when you come down you have a start script to start the application and I say run. So that is going to boot up and start our application. And you can see it's booting up and starting our app. All right. So now I'm going to come back and click OK. And you can see a beautiful view of our entire project. On the right hand side, you can see all the available endpoints. You can view the code, you can view the data in this beautiful web browser. But as I would want to access my service endpoint, I will just put this path at the end of this endpoint. And there you go. These are my entities. Let's explore all the pizzas available. And these are the different types of pizzas which you can order on my, on my shop. And of course, I can also look at the metadata of the service. And these are the metadata. So I can hit the orders entity set with maybe the top two orders. All the pagination and everything is supported out of the box. So these are the top two orders in my order book. Fantastic. So this is how you can create a very simple um, application with the test data and also generate the test data along with the services. So how cool and easy was that? Thanks to SAP Joule for automatically generating my source code for tables as well as test data. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like, share and subscribe this video with your friends and colleagues in the WhatsApp group. I will catch you up in my next session tomorrow. Have a nice day. Goodbye.